So today I'm talking about a Volkswagen with the P0087 code that also has a high pressure fuel pump and what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Volkswagen P0087 code? Well, it's a fuel rail system pressure too low. And what does this mean? Well, Volkswagens that have a high pressure fuel pump, they're going to have two fuel pumps. One fuel pump is going to be in the gas tank. And then the high pressure fuel pump is going to be up inside the engine compartment. And for some reason, one of these fuel pumps is not putting out enough pressure and the onboard computer seeing this. So it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And when you get a P0087 code, it's very common to get misfire codes. So if you are getting misfire codes, it's going to be because of the fuel pressure. And it's going to be the first thing to go and look at. One thing you could do right away is you could check the oil because of that high pressure fuel pump is leaking. Then you're going to have gas inside of the oil. Also, there's components in there, mainly the follower. And if this becomes damaged, sometimes components can actually go into the engine and fall down inside of the oil. So for this reason, some mechanics will drain the oil and they'll check out the oil, check it for any metal shavings, and also see if there's any gas in it. And so what are going to be some possible causes? Well, it could be a bad fuel pressure sensor. It could be a clogged fuel filter. It could be the low pressure fuel pump. It could be the high pressure fuel pump. It could be the cam follower and possibly the fuel pressure regulator. And so first of all, go locate the high pressure fuel pump on your particular Volkswagen. It's going to be up inside of the engine compartment somewhere. And one thing to mention with these high pressure fuel pumps is that when you go to work on them, they do have the high pressure fuel inside of the lines. So if you ever go to remove one, there's a procedure on how you release the pressure inside the line. And usually the way you do this is you disconnect the wires going to the solenoid right here. You start up the engine, you let it run for like five, 10 seconds, and that releases the pressure inside the high pressure fuel line. Of course, be sure to check the manual for your particular Volkswagen, but that is very common. And one of the main tests that you could do that's going to tell you what's going on in the system is to use a fuel pressure gauge. And there's a port on the high pressure fuel pump that you can attach the fuel pressure gauge to. And this is going to be to check for low fuel pressure. So if you can attach a gauge to this port, this is going to test the fuel pump in the gas tank. And it'll depend on the VW what the pressure should be, but usually it's around 60, 70, 80 PSI, something along those lines. You'll have to look up the specific pressures for your particular Volkswagen. But usually if it's up around at least 60, 70, 80 PSI, then it means the fuel pump in the gas tank is working. If that pressure is not at that, if it's down lower, if it's down around 20 or 30, then you know it's the fuel pump in the gas tank. But if that pressure tests good at this port, it's up around 70, 80, whatever it's supposed to be, do you know it's something probably going on with the high fuel pressure pump? It's also possible that the fuel pressure sensor has gone bad and it's just reporting bad data for some reason. And a basic way you could test this is that if you have an OBD2 scan tool, you could check to see what the sensor says the fuel pressure is. And this should match what the fuel pressure gauge is saying. So if this is saying that it's at like 70 and you check it with an OBD2 scan tool and it's off for some reason, then very likely that sensor is bad. But if they match or they're very close, then very likely that sensor is good. And so the most common cause of this code is that something is going on with that high fuel pressure pump. You can't check out this solenoid. It's usually a two wire solenoid. So you can't check that out to see if it's working properly. A very common problem with these is that these followers right here, these ride on a cam lobe. As the engine turns, those followers go in here and, and they spin really fast. And these very commonly go bad. They get wore out and they start to come apart. This is one of the reasons why many mechanics will drain the oil to see if there's any metal shavings inside of there. Because these can't come apart. They can't get damaged. It's a very common problem. But the next thing to do is going to be to take that high pressure fuel pump off and check out all the components. You're going to want to check the spring that goes to the follower. You're going to want to check that follower out real well and be sure that it looks like it's good, that it's not damaged or anything like this. Also, that cam lobe can become damaged or something along these lines and it's not working right, pushing on the fuel pump. So you want to check out that cam lobe, be sure that it's not damaged. And of course, something inside of the high pressure fuel pump could have got damaged, something internally. So that whole high pressure fuel pump might just need to be replaced. So that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Volkswagen with the P0087 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.